hello students let us learn c language today so it is the first class to learn the c language so up to this so we learned lot of things regarding the fundamentals of computers problem solving techniques like algorithms flow chart and pseudo codes okay uh, all these concepts or the informations regarding the computer definitely help the uh, c language learning okay so c language is nothing but it's an high level lang programming language using which the user or the programmer can write program and execute program of course debug the program so let us focus on some of the history it is good to learn about the history of c language programming c was developed by in the year 1972 for general purpose programming so for the general purpose program it was been developed uh, in the year 1972 by dennis ritchie at at&t bell labs okay so he is the founder of the c language c programming language was developed to overcome the difficulties found in the earlier programs like bc pl basic b so these are also the programming languages but here the programmer Uh, found some difficulties to write and execute the program of course uh, debug the program so considering that one so this particular c has the solution to all those problems which they have been arise in the bcpl basic or b okay c is middle or mid level structure oriented programming language as i have told in the earlier classes sometimes the problems will be very complex or right, it may be a big so then you need you can divide this one into the smaller problems the larger problem can be divided into smaller ones okay this is nothing but modular programming or it is structured program but all these modules will have the link between uh, each other and one another okay next there are some facts about c language in 1988 the american national standard institute that's simply you can say ansi had formalized the c language okay c was invented to write unix program unix operating system os so unix linux dos uh, windows mac these are the different operating systems of course android okay c was invented to write unix operating system say next uh, using the c language itself unix and linux operating systems have been developed c is successor of basic combined programming language that is bcpl called b language linux os php mysql are written in c most of the sql state uh, sql uh, server or sql statements are going to be interpreted or executed with the help of c only mysql php and os linux os and unix so these have been developed using c only so while working with those uh, softwares uh, definitely will have the same feel with c language because most of the syntax is constructs will be similar to c language only okay so uh, the constructs are inherited from the c language so if you work with linux or php mysql whatever it may be okay c has been written in assembly language then there is an important information is how c was developed using which the c was developed so c was uh, written c has been written so using the assembly language assembly language okay next in the beginning c was used to develop Uh, system applications like database systems means dbms next language interpreters language interpreter means using the languages we will write some high level statements like print scan like that high level words so these should be translated to machine code so in order to translate the high level statement or instructions into machine code we are using compilers and assemblers of course we know so compilers are translators which will compile all the or translate all the statements at a time okay similarly assembler operating systems so unix linux like operating systems have been developed by c only network drivers 
so network drivers are used to communicate between multiple computers say there are if there are four computers in a network if you want to uh, work with or if you want to interconnect these four computers so there should be network driver network driver is nothing but it is not a cable it is a software so which announces the or which enforces the communication between the different terminals okay for, for example this is one this is two this is three and this is four from here from the first computer you can access the uh, resources of the terminal three similarly from any portion from any point you can access the information of any other sub terminal so that is network driver okay and word processors word processors like microsoft word so uh, initially c language was used to develop these kind of softwares okay next popular for various reasons means c is so popular till today so if you see some network uh, review something uh, in the uh, what i can say different uh, or of course different uh, websites uh, out of 10 programming languages c will be having its place still it's it will be in third or fourth or fifth place okay so c has that much of popularity in the uh, in the programming or in the software design okay one of the easily programming language is c language suppose if you attend any interview first they will ask do you know c pro c language if you know the c language that means minimum programming construct are known to you okay still the best programming language to learn quickly so c is the best programming language to learn quickly means fastly you can learn all the programming constructs or concepts c language is reliable simple and easy to use c language is very easy to uh, write the program execute the program of course debug the program okay so c has all rich set of data types all rich set of uh, reserved words okay each and every uh, token can be easily understood by the programmer so it's reliable simple of course easy to use c language is a structured language as i have told so definitely there will be uh, some predefined data types operators uh, constructs control structures okay functions etc there are lot of things are there with the c language so all those things will make the c language structured one modern programming concepts are based on c so whatever you say if you say php or if you say c sharp something if you say visual programming so any language that will be here in today's market or in the future uh, it market so all uh, programming language will be based on c language only okay it can be compiled on a variety of computer platforms okay once you write and execute some program in one particular computer that can be easily compiled on a variety of computer platforms so pla computer platforms are nothing but if you are working with windows say 10 so the same program so which what which the c program that you have worked with windows 10 can be easily work with unix or windows 7 or mac something so you need not to change anything else okay so it can be compiled on variety of computer platforms so once you that's called portability c programs are portable programs okay you need not to change any code okay uh, if you copy or if you carry that program or if you send that program to any other different platforms okay universities preferred to add c programming in their courseware of course so if you go for any courses of 2 years or 3 years or 4 years engineering courses master courses or bachelor courses or diploma courses whatever it may be so which related to it information technology or computer science so in one or the other sem you will find c programming and or c programming syllabus okay so because c has that type of uh, popular in the it market okay <coughs> next one there are some features 
there are some features of C languages. First one is it is robust language, which is a rich set of built-in functions and operators. <coughs> Means C is robust with a rich set of built-in functions and operators. As I have told, it has some rich set of built-in functions means so there are there will be mathematical functions, character functions, string functions, okay, statical functions and operators. So you can see a different so more than 25 operators will be there. So using this operators you can manipulate the data easily. Okay, so C is a robust language. Okay, next programs written in C are efficient and fast. So whichever whatever may be the program, it's a medium pro medium programming or small program or the large program. So all those programs written in C are efficient and fast. Okay. So in some programming language for writing or designing that will be easy for the programmer, but uh, for the execution so it will be uh, it will take more time. But C is such a programming language. So if the programs are written, it may be in large scale. So these programs are very efficient and very fast in their execution okay and also accurate. C is highly portable means programs once written in C can be run on another machines with minor or no modifications as I have told earlier in this previous uh, slide. C is highly portable, it's a portability means programs once written in C can be run on other machines with a different platform with minor or no modification. Suppose if you have written in Windows, so those programs can be easily run on Mac or Unix or Linux based systems. Okay. C is a collection of C library functions. We can also create our own function, our function and add it to the library. Means C language has some library of functions. So generally library means uh, you will have a college will have a library. So which contains a number of books, isn't it for the reference. Similarly, C will be C is having a library of functions here n number of functions are there. So directly the programmer can use that function like say fact. Fact is a function. You need not to write how to find the factorial. So for a factorial, so there is a function. In order to find the root, there is a function. In order to square, there is a function. So like that, in order to reverse this thing, there is a function. So for particular operations, so some operations which will be repeatedly or frequently used by the programmer, for that there will be a library of functions. Okay. Apart from those functions, the programmer can write their own functions and add it to the C library. So this is one facility what you can say. You can access the library functions, of course you can add your own function to the library. So in order to increase the cost. Uh, uh, number of functions in the library okay it is C is easily extensible you can extend your C programming capability very easily by writing uh, some functions or a, or by calling the functions or modifying the functions at all okay next one advantages of C language C is building block for many other programming languages so building block is this one okay okay block building blocks c is building block for many other programming languages means so you can develop some programming languages using c say as i told php is one scripting programming language server side scripting programming language in order which can be used in uh, developing websites okay so that PHP itself is designed or developed using C language. So it's building block means you can develop any kind of softwares using C. Programs written in C are highly portable. Portable means no need to modify it uh, in order to execute on another machine or computer. Several standard functions are like built in functions can be used to develop programs means instead of rewriting the same procedure okay suppose if you want to write a program so 25 lines or 100 lines are required 100 lines of course are required so if you use one built-in function uh, one line is enough only one line is enough 
so why to go for 100 lines of codes okay using only one line you can do the same kind of job so that is the power of inbuilt function c programs are collections of c library functions and it's also easy to add functions to the c library as i have told the modular structure makes code debugging maintenance and testing easier so modular is nothing but one small large program will be divided into small 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 modules so each module is considered a small program of or it's a part of larger one so if there is any error in the small program like so you can consider or you can concentrate on this one only so you debug this one and these are okay so you debug only this portion and add it to this one so that so you have the last or final result next disadvantage of c language c does not provide object oriented programming concept c is procedure oriented programming or function oriented programming so which will not object oriented okay anyway object oriented programming will be there in the next coming or upcoming semesters okay c does not provide binding or wrapping up of data in a single unit means c will not have any binding or wrapping up of data in a single unit so c plus plus will bind all these things so binding means suppose for example we want to bind or collect the information of a student under a student name so student information is like student register number name date of birth uh, contact number email id etc or the photography so all these different kind of informations can be collected under a single name so that is not possible with c of course uh, there is a hint there is a hint in c language that is structure there is a data structure or small structure so which is a collection of uh, different data items but it is not well suited for the larger applications but so c++ was developed in the c++ you can work with object oriented program or it will be helpful in binding and wrapping up of data in a single unit and one more disadvantage of c is c does not provide constructors and destructors of course because constructors and destructors will come under object oriented programming where there is a class and objects are there but probably you cannot work with objects here you can work only with the uh, variables arrays etc okay uh, some more uh, uh, limitations of c programming language are difficult to debug sometimes if the program is very lengthy so then it is somehow it is difficult to debug okay c allows a lot of freedom in writing code and that is why you can put an empty line or white space anywhere in the program and because there is no fixed place to start and end the line so it is difficult to read and understand the program so means in c language what you can do is you can leave the spaces okay wherever or you can write lengthy lines of course okay in those cases what happens uh, if the statement is lengthy so it is difficult to read and understand the program of course for this we are going to use uh, write the comments okay so by seeing the comment for the block or single statement we can come to know so what purpose the particular code following codes have been written okay the c compilers can only identify errors and are incapable of handling exceptions means runtime errors in the c compiler c compiler is nothing but which translates the user programming language user uh, statements into machine okay so here it identifies or detects errors suppose if you have say for example if you say int a int a means a should have only integers during the program execution means in a we can store 10 20 30 30000 like that suppose if you put a equal to a b c means if you try to assign string values in a then definitely it will be error mismatch type mismatch so c compiler can only identify errors c compiler will identify the errors but inca incapable of handling exceptions 
if any runtime errors occurred means logical error runtime errors okay, execution errors occurs then c will fail okay so for that for exception handling again it will it is it has been started from c++ and uh, the today's programming language all programming languages are having this part exception handling part but the c is generally it is not having any exception part okay c provides no data protection so data protection in the sense say we may go for designing or defining different kind of data some of the data are very important some of the data is not so important even some of them are no important at all so this important data must be protected means the other user should not use it so apart from local and global variables there is no any protection for it okay but in c++ or in the uh, today's uh, uh, pro programming language so there are some sections or the options to provide data protections okay but generally c is not having that facility it also does not feature reusability of source code extensively reusability so of course it is there little bit okay but full fledged reusability is not there reusability means suppose if you have written a particular program okay and it uses some hundred students record okay if you want to modify it or if you want to do the same kind of work for other uh, say objects then it it will not function so you need to again rewrite that code you need to re execute that one so that is the problem with the c language okay of course you cannot understand this reusability of source code uh, extensively because uh, so it is at the part of uh, in the c++ object oriented programming itself object oriented programming always suggests or enforces the reusability of uh, what you can say codes okay but because uh, it is c so only we can work with the what you can say uh, data types and uh, instructions etc so we cannot do this reusability or we cannot perform or enforce reusability similarly c does not provide strict data type checking for example an integer value can be passed for floating data type in sometimes floating means 12.56 is floating 12 itself is pure integer 12.56 is floating point data type 12 is integer so both are numeric of course both are numeric but there are different uh, there are so many differences are there in between this one. so this is integer data type and it is floating so in some cases like uh, parameter passing techniques even though if you use floating point values for this one so instead of 12 it will say 12.00 means 12 will be passed to another parameter so then it becomes 12.00 generally newer or uh, latest programming languages will give this kind of uh, sorry for this um, type mismatch type mismatch but here from integer to float integer to float so it the c will not show some errors sometimes it c will show error but most of the times while parameter passing techniques are there so in those cases generally c will not give any error okay and some of the features standard input output library is there in c long int facility is there because if you say integer then 32767 up to this one from minus 2 plus 32767 if you want to work with 40000 if you want to work with 50000 then you cannot use integer so then you, you can go for long integer facility then unsigned integer data types so where there is no sign particularly okay and compound assignment operators compound assignment like plus equal to minus equal to so these type of operators are there plus equal to means so you can write s equal to s plus 10 so this is descriptive means whatever may be the s value say s value is 1 1 plus 10 that is 11 
so this will be have the 11 so this expression is allowed say same expression can be simplified like this s plus equal to 10 it is simplified version of this one above s plus equal to 10 is nothing but s equal to s plus 10 suppose if you want to add 10 more to s so you can use plus equal to sign s plus equal to 10 s plus equal to 5 like that okay so compound assignment operators are also one of the greatest features in C okay so i hope this is enough for today's class okay so let me continue the same class uh, tomorrow so with the compiler of c language okay so